Hello everyone, it's Suzanne from Present Mindfulness Academy and this month for July we are looking at the topic Understanding Unmet Needs. Now if we were to split this into two sections, there is our child's needs and our adult needs, the parents' needs. So for our children, from the moment they are born, they rely heavily on us for food, for warmth, for security and to feel loved and to feel worthy. We too also have experienced that and needed that as we were children. But as we have grown up, our needs have um, expanded and we have more needs that are secondary. And as children, we may have felt neglected or abandoned from those needs being met. And so what happens? We become parents and we have our children. And the moment that they trigger us is actually a reflection of where we haven't grown up. We are still stuck in a pattern where we felt not worthy. We felt um, not seen or not heard. <clears throat> and so what happens, we are trying to fix or we get uncomfortable and we may punish or discipline our child for not having our needs met. And so this is where we need to change the paradigm. We need to work on ourselves first. We need to self-regulate. We need to get into a place of feeling calm and steady and not imposing our needs onto our childs, but see them as they are authentic, see them as sovereign beings, see them as children that are yearning to be heard and seen and validated just as they are in their mistakes, in their ordinariness. So this month we invite you to join us um, working on the self and as an adult and as a parent, noticing your triggers, noticing how you can more consciously become aware of when you are reacting and start to become curious rather than furious, start to connect rather than correct the child when they are calling for assistance. And this may look as a tantrum, this may look as, an, as a, an erratic outburst, but if you can just step back and see it as a call for help, then you have a better uh, relationship with your child because they can see that you are willing to help them rather than make them feel bad by giving them time out or putting them in the naughty corner or on the naughty step. So, we have a few events on this month. We've got our self-care workshop and that is a good place to start having your own self-care plan. So join us on the 16th of July and that will be at 7 o'clock. It's online. And also on the 23rd of July, Amanda will be hosting the Facebook live meditation. So that is free. Just watch our page at around 8.30 p.m. and you will see her pop up. But please this month take time to slow down notice your triggers, become aware of your needs, work on filling up your cup and also your child's cup as well. So share the gift of mindfulness, be present, raise yourself before you parent your child and make sure you work on filling up your own cup to um, improve and develop your self-care plan as well. Thank you.